Today, we're going to walk through the analysis of this graph and solve parts A and B for this problem. As we can see in this picture, we have velocity in the y direction and time in the x direction. Figure 1 shows data for the speed of blood in the orta. Part A. Determine the magnitude of the acceleration for the speeding up phase. Express your answer with the appropriate units. And we know by definition that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So we need to find the slope of the graph for the phase that is speeding up. Positive slope means speeding up, while negative slope means slowing down. For the part A, we are analyzing the speeding up part. The first step is to determine two points in the graph that we could use to find the slope. For example, the first point x1 0 0.20, y1 0, or the point x2 0 0.266, y2 0 0.75. We see that by having two points, we can determine the slope of this graph that's a line. We know that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to the slope of this graph. This is applying the concept of rise over run for the slope of the line. This is just to clarify how I found the values for time, because in the y direction it's easy to know that the divisions are in 0.25. It's 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. But in the x direction, time, it's a little bit trickier. We see that there are three divisions between each 0 0.20. So you can see that we have 0 0.20, that's one third of 0 0.20. That's equal to 0 0.266. This is how I found that coordinate for that point. And you see why one third? Because we have the whole 0.20 plus one third of the next 0.20. Now that this is clear, we see how we got two points in this graph and found the slope of the velocity versus time graph for the speeding up phase, and that's the acceleration for this part of the experiment. Now let's continue with part B. Determine the magnitude of the acceleration for the slowing down phase. Express your answer with the appropriate units. We know that from this graph, the negative slope denotes the slowing down phase. We are going to use one of the points that we found before, x2.266, y2.75. And a new point that's part of the slowing down phase, x1, 0 0.40, y1, 0. That's the purple point. Now we're also using the concept of rise over run to find the slope. That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we found that the acceleration is negative 5.59 meters per second square. We keep the positive value since they are asking for the magnitude. Although we know that the acceleration is negative, we need to provide the positive value, which is 5.6 meters per second square for this specific case. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was useful. Remember to hit that like button, share this with your friends, your geek friends, your cat, your dog, your girlfriend, and anyone who needs physics for college or life. Keep it going, guys.